Welcome back to my Let's Play for Storm of Spears. I suppose it's time to head into the underground. Let's see, is there anything even down here? Oh, there's like one monster over here. That's it? I was expecting so much more. You're disappointing me, game. But I guess we can fight and kill this thing. If only because it's there. That ain't necessary. Yeah. Let him taste the power of suffocating pollen. Ooh, you dodged it, eh? Well, dodge this. My blade swing attack. Yeah, I thought so. Can't dodge my special skills, can ya? That's what makes them so special. Yeah, get pumped up. Only he'll probably die this turn, making that pointless. Yeah, I thought so. That's just how it almost always works, it seems. Well, nothing else for it. Hmm, anything up here? Wait, I wonder if there's this, a pillar? Huh. And what would this little pillar be? It's an elemental pillar. So that's what holds the elemental lords? I think I've heard tell of them. The elemental lords were dangerous fiends which roamed Gallagher. Alisher, known as the Great Hero, sealed them away inside these pillars. Is it safe? The lords are said to be very powerful. I don't think the pillars can hold them forever. It'd be best if we could release them and defeat them once and for all. If not even the great hero could defeat them, how can we? Because we are many and he was one. But I, I have to agree, we're probably not ready to take on this take on this quest just yet. Oh, you you think they've grown weaker, do you? Somehow I imagine they're still a lot more powerful than you think. Hmm. I'll worry about that later. There's no reason to dump a bunch of time to a quest like that right now. A miner's hammer. So can I like mine some stuff out with this hammer or is it just an equipable weapon? Um, there we go. A miner's hammer is more powerful than your mace, eh? That doesn't make much sense. It's not a war hammer, it's a work hammer. Uh, whatever. We'll, we'll just run with it. Well, that was close. What do you mean, close? We had to fight all of one guy in there, and even that was optional. Though I do have to admit, I like the background here. I mean, it looks like the town's, like, maybe partially on fire. Based on, like, looks like smoke's rising up off of things a bit. And I guess that's the moon back there. For a second, I thought it might have been Jupiter or something, but what? I guess not. Nah, we did that before and people got hurt, remember? Not to mention, I don't think we could have taken down all the elites. We're not that good yet. I'm not going anywhere until Mathis gets here. You're free to go, though. Do whatever you please. But well, we're not leaving you now, Shura. After all, you're going to have to become our new leader, I'm sure of it. You're the only one that can lead, right? Where's Lucas? He's already at the camp. I managed to sneak out of Calm without being caught. How is he? Edrin will need your skills. Let's hurry, then. It's bad when you have to call him the cleric. Um, Lucas probably ain't gonna make it. <sighs> so how is he? How long before he recovers? Edrin? I'm sorry, sure, I did everything I could, but... What do you mean? The wound was too deep. Even if we treat him right there at Calm, it wouldn't have made any difference. Yeah, that's what she's saying in one of the most roundabout ways possible. Your brother's dead. <sighs> I thought you were supposed to stay behind. Because you're the hidden face, you know, of the movement. 
Or they figure you out and you ran away too. I suppose we did fail. We're gonna finish what he started. We're gonna end this war. Right? Yep, thought so. We're now on a quest of vengeance. We have become Sasuke. Well, at least we have bigger boobs, you know? <laughs> and don't have hair shaped like a duck's back end. Seriously, what's with Sasuke's hair? Just please don't be emo about it. Yeah, speak, Bernard. Or don't. Do you think I do? This is all my fault. I shouldn't have asked you to join us. No, the fault's my own. I shouldn't have accepted. I knew how it was going to end. I shouldn't have accepted. But I did. Now Lucas is dead. What's done is done. We can't go back to the past and change it. The only thing we can do is be consumed by regret. Sure. Gather everyone. I have a few words I'd like to share with them. All right. Okay. Well, down there. I can't even get in the tents. I can't go in here either. I was hoping I could find some stuff and steal it before I talk to him. Because, you know, that's what you do when you're the hero. You pilfer everything in every house you come across. I know you don't see me as your leader. I only joined the attack after Bernard offered me money. As you all know, I made it clear that I had no interest in the rebellion. But that's changed. My little brother's dead. I won't lie to you and pretend I'm doing this for you. Call me selfish, but I'm doing this for myself. For my brother. This is about my own vengeance now. But then again, am I any different to anyone here? Haven't we all lost something dear at the hands of the kingdom? Don't we all want their blood on the ground and flowing through our rivers? This isn't really all that motivational. Oh, don't be afraid. You know, considering you just retreated and got utterly crushed. Um, yeah, let's try and do that. Let's prove we're wolves and not sheep. But first things first, I need some better gear. Anyone got some money? <laughs> A bit better on those last bits. It's working, he was right. She'll probably murder you. Ah. So is he really dead? Well, I guess so, considering they buried him. So he was savable with the side he'd rather die to move his sister into action, huh? That's pretty messed up. So what is it, Sephzes? Why the rush to see me? A crow from Kamal ride this morning. A crow? Ah, uh, because, you know, a group of crows is called a murder. Gotcha, gotcha. You wouldn't want to use pigeons, you know? They don't have, you know, as much fear attached to them or hatred. Just everyone hates crows. Everybody. What's in Callum? Carwin, apparently. He sent the crow as it seems a rebellion broke out. He managed to contain it, but some rebels escaped. Hmm. He's waiting for your orders, my lady. Tell him to come back to Ironhorn. He's more useful to me here. What about the rebels? What about them, Asephis? This isn't the first time this has happened. As always, they won't accomplish anything. Have the 9th Brigade look for them, and command them to execute the rebels when they find them. Assuming they don't go to ground and forever hide in the holes they dug for themselves. Whatever. I don't care. 
I think it's wise to pull Kong and the Silver Claw out. They can end this swiftly if used wisely. Do you think it's wise to question me? Would you like to be a head shorter? My apologies, your highness. Just do as I told you and piss off. <sighs> so the queen's ordering us back. She thinks the silver claw is her pet. She thinks I'm her pet. Sir? You're dismissed, soldier. Take the message to the 9th Brigade. Yes, sir. One day, Liliana, you'll pay for all you've done to me. One day. If you don't like her so much, why don't you just join the rebellion? Seriously. <sighs> yeah, we probably should get out on that. It's always spiders. Not really. We're quite rested at the moment. There's no reason to do that. Ah. Uh, I doubt anyone's gonna care. Why has he got such a nice room? Seriously, what'd he do to get this? Did he shape it with, like, magic or something? I'm fine, I'm just remembering things. Such as... Talking about your family still live? I thought the kingdom had taken them from you. No, they're alive. The kingdom took our wealth, assets, everything. It's all my fault. I trust them and they betrayed me. I was so ashamed. I was so ashamed that I left my family. I couldn't look them in the eye. I managed to leave them in a position where they could still live a comfortable life, but it's far from what they were used to. Generations of hard work were lost because I was naive enough to trust the Queen. If they're alive, you should... Yes, I should go see them. Something to look into, I suppose. I just don't know where his family's at right now. Gotcha. Oh, you got some healing fruits and stuff, huh? Ugh, nothing too grand, though. Okay. I better have the courage. Yeah, it is important we plan our next steps very carefully, or otherwise the rebellion's going to be lost fairly early on. I liked him too. He was so young. It's painful to lose those we love. No last of your kind. It must be lonely. Indeed, but I have you. I may not speak too much, but you're the closest thing I have to a family. We all know that and it goes both ways. Um, we'll just run with this. Plenty of times already. There's no need to thank me, Follies. Moon Mist, huh? It's a sacred place to us, the Arafe. It always has been. It's always been said we can summon the spirits of our ancestors there. I wish to try it. Okay. We got a lot of rooms in here, don't we? Ah, uh, some bunks for people, huh? Well, kinda took my fill, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't care. If you wanna fight the Empire, it's all good. Well, look at the bright side. I don't have to pick up a sword, at least. Who knows? Who cares? What happened, happened. 
I'm curious how these all these rooms fit next to each other, though. Because logically they wouldn't, because they're so big. Yeah, why did he put a bar in here? Shouldn't you have your soldiers, you know, sober in case the fight breaks out? We'll see. Hmm. I'm just free to take stuff? Well, I guess I am in charge. Makes sense. Yep, leader, you can steal whatever you want. Take whatever supplies you need. Hmm. Indeed. Never knew you were into flowers, Edrin. I'm not, but my daughter was. Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> Yet you were still willing to do that to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll see about that. I'm sure we'll find out about it at some point. Sorry I'm late. I had to make sure everything was clear and calm before I left. And is it? Ah, the 9th Brigade, huh? That's a relief. Anything's better than dealing with the Silver Claw. I only hope we get to meet them again. They'll pay for what happened at Callum with their lives. Yeah, we need to decide what to do next. Mathis is waiting at the water hut. Shall we go? Okay. Yeah, good luck with that. There's only one guy there. So if I see anyone coming, I cry for help. And shouldn't this be called the War Cave? No, I was just telling that Colin's pretty much clear. Car and the Silver Claw are no longer there. Wonder how clear that really is. I'd say it'd still be wise to avoid the city, and if we ever find the need to go there, we do so with caution. Agree, we can't call it a safe place by any means, but without the Silver Claw there, it's not that dangerous either. Got that right. As far as she's concerned, we're not even worth the effort to destroy, practically. Oh, we will, huh? You're gonna do what no one else has done, huh? Got that right. We got a crap ton of things to do. We need weapons, supplies, you know, more rebels to join our cause, which means tracking down whatever's left of the previous rebel groups, probably. And we need people that, you know, are willing to learn how to fight and die for our cause, and we need someone that can train them up to scratch. Yeah, I find those sticks and stones is definitely not in the cards. We need some actual weapons here. I'm afraid not. Not without attracting suspicion. Especially with Calum the way it is. And even if I were to give you gold, where would you purchase them? Yeah, it would be impossible to buy a high volume of weapons without inviting, you know, undue attention. After all, you know, you're not really allowed to have military outfits around here anymore. Very well, then. We have only one option. We'll take what we want. Which means we're gonna have to hit up a garrison, right? Well, I guess we are. Gotcha. Which we wouldn't have waiting for them in the middle of the road. Dagger Ridge. Does it really exist? I've seen it myself. It's a mountain path that leads to the sides of the road. We'd be able to sneak up on them through Dagger Ridge for sure. Well, we are mercenaries. I'm sure we're better than any bandits that are going to get in our way. Got that right. We've been through a lot worse than mere bandits. Eh, Alright, so then we leave for Dagger Ridge to get the supplies. <sighs> Understood. Jeez.
Jeez. Did a lot of talking this episode. So where exactly are we going after we get out of here? Ah, uh, that's where we gotta go. Can I go anywhere else interesting? Or is that not allowed just yet? I would assume no, but we can always check it out, I guess. Oh, I can enter the dark woods. Isn't that where we started, though? I got no reason to go there yet, and I'm going to assume any areas we can go to that you know aren't specified are going to have really powerful enemies if we're not up to scratch. It's just weird all these temples are open to us to access right from the get go. You think the game would try to enforce a little structure here? At any rate, I'm going to be stopping here for tonight. Next time, you know, we can enter this place and try and get our supplies. Until then, see ya.